Hello once again fellow flight simmers back once again with another video this one's gonna be a little bit different because I came across something that I think is pretty important to mention I'm pretty sure it has been mentioned many times before I think I've heard something about it in blogs or different uh, forums you know but it's something that I came across and it made such a dramatic difference in the performance of X-Plane and I guess everybody who's working with SimVim anyways is using X-Plane because I think that's the only simulator that it works with right now so I thought it was um, worth mentioning it so what I'm talking about is about the frame rates um, I recently upgraded my computer and I got a Core i7 8700K which I am running overclocked to 5 gigahertz I have a NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti which of course has 11 gigs of video memory and I have 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM so I was expecting you know to get 50 60 frames a second you know pretty easily um, but that's not the case you know actually right now as you can see up on top I'm getting about 40 frames so right now my settings that I'm running <clears throat> is uh, as you can see I have the visual effects on high the texture quality is on maximum I don't have it on the very highest one the anti-aliasing is on 4x SSAA plus FXAA so pretty much everything is one from the top on the video side and on the CPU side I have the number of world objects um, on high not on maximum and I have the reflection detail all the way down to zero and I have draw part aircraft checked but I do not have draw sceneries shadows so with that I'm getting about you know 43 frames a second here at the airport and see I'll go outside so I'll, even outside you know usually I was getting lower frame rates um, when I was inside the cockpit with my other computer but this one it seems to be about the same so I'm getting about 43 even outside here too so what I'm gonna show you guys is what I came across because I started I was doing a flight and I was trying messing around with my overclocking at the same time and I noticed that you know all of a sudden my performance would degrade a little bit but I didn't encounter it this drastically until today I think it was today or yesterday which I was just like what the heck is going on here now so right now as you can see I'm running X-Plane as using uh, anywhere about 40 to sometimes it goes up a little bit more percent of the CPU and so right now you know total CPU usage is at 48 percent and I have I'm just gonna open up you know some browser window but I'll put that on the other monitor and you can see the CPU usage went up a little bit so I'll open up a couple more tabs maybe a Navigraph it's still staying about the same about 55 percent so what I found out is that when I try to open the command center from MSI for the overclocking that's when I noticed that the sometimes the frame rates would drop all the way down to one or two but normally it was somewhere around four so I'm going to try to duplicate that right now just keep an eye out on the CPU usage here and you'll see what I mean so there's the command center opening up and you see my frame rates already dropped to four six five and it's taking forever to open up the command center So they're finally opened up but obviously the simulator is still running at four, four frames per second right there and if you notice the CPU usage went to 100% now the X-Plane it still says it's using about 24% 25% but this anti-malware service executable is using about 20% approximately and that together with everything else I think everything else increased when that process came up so basically as the antivirus is running a process 
uh, when I opened up this app. And I know that I've heard, you know, before that it's a good idea to turn off the antivirus when you're using X-Plane. And this is probably one of the reasons why, but I had never encountered it, like I said before, this drastically until today. Even though I've been using the MSI Command Center, I've never encountered it. Now, if I close the MSI Command Center, it even takes a while. Now I got that warning from Xplane saying that my rendering options are set too high and it can't run in real time because obviously I'm running a, at only four, four frames a second. I might actually be having a problem recording at this time. So now that I killed the command center, it actually takes a while for this um, service executable um, process to disappear and for my processor usage to go back to normal. But while I'm doing that, I'm gonna explain what I found out I can do. So obviously, the first thing you can do is kill the antivirus software completely, stop the real-time um, scanning or real-time protection, and that will eliminate this problem. Um, the other thing you can do is actually add the, the process to the exception list of the antivirus so that it doesn't basically trigger it when you open up the app and that will also have the same effect or the third option is obviously don't run you know the command center while I'm using the simulator but like I said sometimes I've been playing around with um with overclocking and all that so I kinda didn't um, didn't have that option until I was finished, you know, tweaking it and finding out what I, you know, the settings that I wanted to use. So there you go. So now you can see that that anti-malware executable disappeared, and my processor is back to only 49%, and my frame rates went back up in the 40s again. So what I'm going to show you now is how you can add um, a process or an exception. So if we go to Windows Security, and you can see that everything is, is uh, enabled. So what I can do is just, um, you go to Virus and Threat Protection Settings, and the, obviously this is on Windows 10. Um, and then you go to Exclusions, and I can put Add or Remove Exclusions, and I can add commandcenter.exe and add it there so now it's added I also have my explain folder and I also have my folder where I have all the Orbex scenery on there so here we go so now I already added it so now I can go back and start the command center again and you can see that it'll open up much faster and the frame rate didn't drop. It only went down like two, two frames a second or so. Sometimes not even that. So that's what did it. All right, so now if I go to the security center, to the window security and actually just turn off the real-time protection all the way that's actually the best option and now even if I open up the command center it doesn't have an effect on the frame rates okay so now now that I removed the exclusion I'm gonna try to open it up once again and sometimes what I've noticed is that if you already excluded it and then you remove the exclusion it, it kind of still remembers that uh, you added it so it didn't actually have that negative effect until I rebooted Windows again but I'm gonna see what happens this time I'll open up the command center again oh, actually it's already open so I suppose I should close it first I'll give it a few seconds just to make sure it's completely dead and I'll try opening it again so there it goes once again my frame rate went all the way down to 5 and 4 and 6 
and it's taking forever to open again this time I'm gonna kill the antivirus protection without adding an exclusion and I think you'll notice that as soon as I do that um, the CPU usage will go back to normal and my frame rate will go back to normal so I'm going to open up the security center here okay I keep an eye out there on the on the CPU usage and I go to manage settings I turn off the protection I'll give it a little bit here maybe it'll it takes a little while to kill that anti-malware executable or I guess I can just end it myself oh, it doesn't allow me to so I wouldn't even be able to do that so now let's see if I close the command center if it'll help expedite it well three frames per second at 5 gigahertz with an 8700K and a 1080 Ti that's pretty pathetic and it's all because of Windows security I mean I know that we need to have these things you know it's important to have security and protection and all that but this is ridiculous actually so that service in executable still hasn't gone away yet how long it takes it usually takes about I think about a minute and a half or so to go away after I close down the command center okay there we go finally about a minute later uh, the service executable went away and my frame rates went back up so now I'm gonna try to open the command center again now that the antivirus protection is completely turned off and you'll see that it should open up pretty quickly and my frame rates will not drop so that's definitely the culprit there so yeah I guess I better just I'm gonna add it to the exception list anyway so that the antivirus won't scan it every time but I think I'm gonna just try to get into the habit of turning off the antivirus before I use the simulator that way if there's any other processes that you know cause this behavior at least the antivirus won't be running Alright, so hopefully this tip helps somebody. I, like I said, I know that it's probably been mentioned hundreds if not thousands of times in different places, but I just thought it was good to share this little thing that I came across. Alright, well, talk to you guys again soon. Later.